What is up everyone? Welcome back. Today we are checking out the new Sukekio track. It's roughly translated just still me. It is the radio edited version. The reason I chose this version is because there are English subtitles in the video, which allows me to truly be able to comment on all facets of the track. So that's why we went with the radio edit as opposed to the album version, which is a little bit shorter. It is coming off their new record, Infinitum, which is coming out on 24 May of 2019. If you are not familiar with Sukekio, it features Kyo, the vocalist from Duran Gray, as well as Takumi on guitar and piano, formerly of Renshrer and Soy, Uta on guitar, formerly of Nine Goats Blackout, Yuchi on bass, formerly of Cannibalism, and Mika on drums, once again, formerly of Renshrer and Soy. So you have an absolutely incredible cast of musicians from the VK scene in Japan. And it's certainly a different beast than Duran Gray. You do get some of those Renshrer and Soy elements. And it's definitely a different beast than Nine Gates Blackout, which were quite a bit heavier. It's, a, it's an amazing vehicle. And I'm really excited to hear some new stuff from these guys. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? The band is Sukekio. The track is roughly translated to Just Still Me. Coming off their new record, Infinitum. And here we go. Really cool electronic textures right out the gate here. Outstanding piano textures. Really subtle lead work from the guitars there. I've been really happy that Kyo is using that mid-range to his voice so much more these days. Floating into those beautiful higher parts to his register. Really strong vocal layering right out the gate. And phenomenal snare work there with the drummer. That's that sparse piano. Slightly melancholic, gorgeous textures. The way this is, the way this progression is shifting slightly is really pretty. It's really interesting, almost choked way that he's phrasing his vocal here. That's a fantastic transition. Such, such an incredible amount of warmth in the music. Little nuances there with that Guitar accent texture, slightly back in the mix. Lyrically, it's Ko at his, some of his strongest points with the way he creates this lyrical poetry. Love that kick tone. Really fantastic way to build into this solo here. 
Love is choices. These moments, he really shines and lyrically it just gives me chills. The lie is so beautiful, it's terrifying. Wow. Love those little synth textures there. Almost orchestral, and they were just there for, for a couple of bars. The song has this beautiful cadence. How is, the drums are so rich. And it really just resonates within me emotionally. Wow. That was absolutely beautiful and that's certainly a track that I did not want to end you could tell it was starting to but I wasn't ready for it to, to finish up that's one that would just get just go on repeat just so I could really grasp it and let it take a hold of that spiritual and that emotional side of me personally it's one of those where even shooting a video like this in this kind of format and doing things in this context, it just feels very personal. And I think that's always something that I felt was brilliant when I finally been, was able to connect with Keo as a singer and what he does as an artist. He's got such a phenomenal band here. They're incredibly talented players. They are truly incredibly skilled, both from a technical standpoint, and they're great songwriters. And I love hearing Ko in this kind of environment, in this kind of context and setting. I feel like he shines so well in these beautiful, rich, melancholic ballads. You get so many different aspects of his range and what he's capable of. And the band here in Tsukekio really gets to shine as well. The drum tones are so rich and warm. That kick tone is incredible. You get that rich, thick, resonating texture out of the kick instead of that overused, incredibly clicky, triggered sound that you get that a lot of modern bass drum tones or kick tones are achieving the tom sounds are huge the cymbals have a strong sense of clarity to them they're they're all set in a great part of the mix there's a lot of little nuanced stuff it's interesting using this particular set of headphones uh strong sony studio set and hearing where coming out of these the lead guitar lines are sitting the accent guitar those those accents they're playing they're sitting a little lower than some of the other things in the mix and i like where that where they placed them i like where they their home they have instead of being on top of things they're kind of stuck a little bit more in the middle of things and i love the way it presents to my ears the bass tone is is once again incredibly rich, incredibly warm. It's a great tone. You got some really cool little nuances going on, and I think that's really one of the keys throughout the one of the hallmarks throughout this track is there's a lot of little things, little textures that come together and make such make a track like this work and sound so incredible and really allow these lyrics 
and the vocals to forge that emotional connection with the listener. I love Sukakio as a vehicle for Kyo and the other players because I think they're all amazing players. And this song is just fantastic. It's very, very easy to get into. This is a track that if somebody said, hey, what is... Why do you like Kyo as a vocalist or give, a, give me a, a visual K track that I can get into? I would easily send them this video and say, okay, enjoy this. You get the semi jazzy or jazz influence in the bass playing. You get that in the drum, drum work. Their drummer certainly at certain points has some incredibly semi jazzy feel to his playing and his snare and his hi-hat work. The solo was really well played. I love it when guitar players use, especially in tracks like this that give them the room to do it, use those lower per, those lower modes and those lower scales and progressions in their solos. It always kind of hits me in the hard strings and it's always interesting what they choose to be their voice in a track absolutely nothing i would fault here the mix is incredible all the way around every player shines the synths don't overpower anything at all all those different little layers and nuances the richness and the the just the beauty of the of the piano passages i love it i'm a huge huge fan of this track and it sh shows a lot of promise that tr truly tells me the record's going to be fantastic and i'm glad they dropped it roughly a year after the Dern gray record his Insulated World is still a record that I continue to get back to, and it's incredible. And now to get a Sukekia record in that bridge period, I don't have anything to complain about there. I cannot wait to hear more. This is certainly a track that I wanted and hoped would we would receive, and they, they didn't let us down. They didn't let me down anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nice to get to be able to get into more Sukekio. I truly, truly love these guys. Thank you, guys. I love you as well. Thank you for being here. Thank you to my law enforcement, military veterans, and first responders for what you do every day. As always, you have been awesome. I have been bald, man. See you in the next one. Be excellent to each other. Keep head banging.